everyone, welcome to Vivian with Kim Tech. My name is Kim. Today I'll share with you my minimal desk setup. This is what my current setup looks like. It consists mostly of white and oak like color. If you're looking for a minimalistic look, this is it. I'll also share my husband's setup as well if you're interested in a darker look, consisting of mostly black and walnut color. You can skip to his desk setup portion if that appeals to you more. And all links will be in the description box below. Let's start with my setup. This desk is one of my favorite pieces. I'm super health conscious, so I asked for a setup desk when we were ordering furniture for the office. It's an electrical stand-up desk and I'm really happy with it because it's been working well and super duper sturdy. Setting this up was a pain though because the slab is 59 inches, made of solid wood, and drill holes were not pre-drilled. I had to help my husband and it's not like I could just go down a bunch of spinach to get more arm power. So I was struggling when I was helping him with the setup. However, once it's set up, the feet have these horizontal gear looking pieces which actually makes the desk pretty easy to move around if needed. The legs are of a charcoal color and a bit more matte. We bought the fold-out drawer as an add-on to store pens and some knickknacks. I love its ability to program the height that I use the most. If you're sharing this desk with someone, you can set two separate heights because there are two available memories that you can use for it to remember the different heights. For my purpose, I have M1 set for my standing height and M2 for when I film. I'm 5 feet and the desk height fits very well whether I'm sitting or standing. I didn't notice until recently that this desk has the ability to reset itself when the legs are lopsided. Someone messed with my desk and somehow made the legs uneven. When I got home, I didn't know what to do. I pressed the up arrow to see if it still moved and it did. I then pressed the down arrow to see how far it can go, so I can get a measurement of the two legs and see how off the legs are from one another. As I was pressing the down arrow, one leg came down first, and the other leg eventually came down as well, completely, even itself out. I was so surprised but so glad that it fixed itself. It's worth noting that it has 5 year warranty. My monitor is from Dell. It's the Alienware 38 curved gaming monitor. It gives me so much real estate to work with, which is super awesome because I always have so many windows open. I do like it better than having multiple monitors because there's no middle frame between the different monitors or if one monitor get moved resulting in different heights, which would be very annoying. This one piece just give it less chance for error. I recently had the screen jitter on me, but it was at the end of the day, so I just closed everything up and the next day it resolved itself. The monitor arm is the HX Death Monitor Arm from Ergotron. It's the heavy monitor mount for large monitors weighing from 20 to 42 pounds. It lifts, it tilts, it pans and rotates and has a 10 year warranty. This thing is sturdy. It clamps to the surface on my desk and it works great. This arm is the type that requires a monitor to be mounted on first before the arm can be adjusted. It has some cable management, but not much for me to go into depth about it. My main cable management is actually underneath my desk. As much as I really like the Artifox monitor stand, the wait time for it was insane. Three months. Not sure if it's worth it. I was getting to a point where we were considering canceling the order and buying something else. Don't know if it's still that way though, since we bought it last year when Artifox just got popular. Anyway, what I really like about it, besides how aesthetically well it fits with my setup, is the fact that it's made of steel and solid oak. Another one of my favorite pieces is the BenQ Screen Bar Halo Monitor Light. It has an asymmetric optical design to illuminate the desk without causing screen reflection. There's a backlight to eliminate the contrast between the monitor and the surrounding to make it easier for your eyes, which you can turn on and off independently from the main light. It also comes with a wireless controller for me to adjust the brightness and or color temperature to fit my mood. And it fits perfectly on my curved monitor. 
I connect this power USB to my monitor so the monitor can power it. And when my monitor is off, the light bar cannot be turned on to avoid any accidental adjustments to my settings. My only complaint about this is that the wireless controller picked up a lot of fingerprint due to its shiny nature. Not a big deal though because I rarely have to adjust the settings anyway. My speakers are the Edifier Studio Monitor speakers. I'll list the specs here on the screen for you. I don't know anything about audio, so I don't have much to say about these speakers, except they work great and serve my day-to-day -day audio need. This is the small marble green pothos plants, which we bought from Easy Plants. The maintenance for this fella is super minimal. And look, it's growing new leaves. If you're going to buy plants from this company, just a heads up, large pots almost always come with crap pots. The husband had to contact support pretty often to request replacement. Although we were getting extra plants from the replacements, we were at the point where we were tired of contacting their support and didn't want to fill the house with plants everywhere. The insects was from our wedding, which we bought it to take pictures of our guests. It's been 8 years, so it doesn't work anymore, and now it just sits here as a display. The husband got me this yellow balloon dog sculpture because he thought it would be cute for my setup. It's cute enough, but it's terrible when I wipe it during my wiggly clean because you can see the paint transfer. And mind you, I'm wiping with distilled vinegar and water mixture, not any harsh chemical. Anyway, it would do for now. But this fella is most likely to be the first to go when I find its replacement. I originally got a leather desk mat, but the husband found this desk mat from Growth Me, which ended up looking a lot better because of the color and the difference in texture. It's the lighter gray wool felt desk pad. The wireless Logitech G703 mouse is one of my favorite pieces from this entire setup. I originally got this mouse to play Genshin, but I haven't had time to touch that game for months. I now just use the mouse for my daily use. Okay, I know it doesn't fit with the aesthetic of my desk, but I love how smooth the cursor is and it fits nicely in my palm even though it's not that small. You can use the additional weight coin to make it heavier, but I use it without it because I like how light it is. I'm tempted to disassemble the mouse and paint it a lighter color because I've seen that it's possible to mod this mouse, but it's not a priority at the moment. I was looking for a keyboard with hot swappable switches because I wanted to test some switches and eventually build my own keyboard. I love mechanical keyboards because of the way they feel and sound, making me feel super productive and making typing so, so fun. I have the RK Royal Clutch RK61, a 60% keyboard. A bit small for my liking though, but I didn't know then how I feel about the smaller form factor. Besides the hot swappable switches, I got this keyboard because of how pretty the pastel lights look. It works well for now, and in case you're wondering, it works with Mac and Windows, and it can also be wireless. Because the MacBook Pro doesn't have many USB 3 ports, so I needed an adapter for my peripherals. Unfortunately, this adapter doesn't support the max refresh rate of the monitor or even what the MacBook can handle. So I have to connect the HDMI directly to the laptop. The dongle maxes out at 60 Hz while when I plug directly into the laptop, I get 85 Hz because that's the max my MacBook Pro can handle. My number one favorite is this chair. Yo, I've never had an amazing chair before. I've always used some old chair. So this was the first office chair we bought new. I'm sure some of you guys can tell this is a Herman Miller Aeron Remastered chair. I've had this chair for a year now and it's so great to sit in. We did get it fully loaded and for the price tag of this chair, it did come with a 12 year warranty. There's not one bad thing I can say about this chair. Definitely one of our best purchases. What is your favorite piece in your setup? Let me know in the comment section below. To wrap up my setup, I keep my desk clean by stuffing everything inside my side cabinet. This is the Poppin Stove 3 drawer file cabinet in white and light gray. There's a lock for the cabinets, which is great because I can just lock it up when I'm away. And because I'm not strong enough to move the cabinet on my own with stationary feet, we had to buy the roller feet separately. Honestly, without this cabinet, my desk would be a mess. As a 
my husband is set up. I'm going to breeze through it a bit quickly here since we share similar pieces but his are just darker. His desk is a solid walnut slab. It's kind of weird though because their site and Amazon page says charcoal legs for both the walnut slab and the oak slab. But the legs are different. The legs for his desk are black and a bit glossy, while mine are closer to charcoal and matte. Neither looks off though, but it's just weird that their description is not that accurate. His cabinet is the same as mine, except it's completely black. His monitor arm is also the same and in black. Light bar is exactly the same. His desk mat is the Grove Made Dark Gray Wolf Felt Desk Pad. His Apple keyboard is inside the Grove Made Tray in American Black Walnut with aluminum reinforcement and natural cork base. Here is the Anchor charging station for his iPhone, AirPod, and iWatch. His monitor is the Dell 38 inch curved. His monitor stand is from Grove Made in the large size. I didn't get this because the legs are made of cork material and I personally don't like spending a lot of money to get cork as one of the main constructed materials. His speaker system is the Harman Kardon Sound Sticks. I think it's model 3. He bought it off of Craigslist from an old gentleman and we've had this for 7 or 8 years now and it still works great. So is your setup closer to my setup which is a lighter color or closer to my husband's setup, the darker mood? Let me know down below. Hope you all find this video helpful. If you do, please click the thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any questions, please feel free to put it down below. Thank you so much for watching to the end of this video. Hope you all have a nice day or night wherever you are my buddies. Until next time, bye!